Okay, we're finally moving on to texturing. Now, uh, before we can actually do some texturing, we're going to quickly review a texturing, how it works under Unity. Now, um, a texture is just basically an image that you can lay over uh, a, an object or wrap around an object in case of 3D. Um, but in our case, since our, our splines are 2D, we are just laying them over. Uh, our objects. So um, all you really need to worry about when creating your textures um, are this. When you're creating a texture for the fill of an object, it should be a square. For example, here this triangle texture is 64 by 64. And when you're creating a texture for your outlines, they pretty much need to be very long and narrow. They don't need to be square, but it's better to be very narrow, but extremely long. And uh, it's preferable that they're loopable in that uh, you could wrap them around and one end would um, basically connect to uh, the other end. Um, now, if you didn't make uh, your texture a loopable texture, um, you would have to make it actually very long. But other than that, um, uh, other than those specifications, you can pretty much uh, create any type of texture that you like. Now, continuing on, you can't just drag a texture onto an object. Well, actually you can, but you need a material, and Unity will create a material for you if you don't, if you just try to do that. But what you're going to want to do, um, if you want to do it correctly, is you create your own material, and uh, bas uh, basically what that material does is the material is used to, to place that texture on your game object. Now, continuing uh, on with materials, we also have shaders. Now, shaders are basically um, code that defines how the in-game shading looks uh, on an object. So basically, within a given shader, there's a number of properties, and those properties are uh, basically textures. Uh, or typically textures and um, shaders are implemented through materials and those materials are attached directly to individual game objects. So in other words you have a material, you choose a shader, you define properties in that shader which are usually the textures, the colors or uh, amongst other things and those um, those properties are used by the shader. So the typical workflow is that you create a material, you select the shader and you choose the, ch uh, the texture to uh, display along with it. Now if uh, that sounded confusing that's okay don't worry because the next video will hopefully clear things up and it's fairly easy and straightforward so just follow along in the next video. Okay see you then.